Welcome back to our channel. In this week's episode, we do work, get tired, take a break, and then do more work. No time for hijinks around here. The weather has not been cooperating lately. This still needs to be done. So I'm going to start. And then hopefully the weather will um, cooperate and I can get some of this exterior sprayed. All of the red is a form of lichen. And I have some treatment to spray on and you leave it and it just sort of washes away the lichen over a period of time. You can see how large these hydrangeas get. So what I tend to do is tri trim them in February. I'm a little late this year. You can see how these are already forming new plants. So what I like to do is go all the way down to the last little um, flower and just clip there. So that's sort of my technique. And then if there isn't one, I just clip at the bottom. These things just seem to go crazy. I will fertilize them as well. Yeah, last year we just got monster hydrangeas, so hopefully we'll be in luck this year as well. The other thing I wanted to mention, this is your typical English ivy, and this is bad. This is something we don't want on any building, any wall. Uh, so we have to get it from the root down there, and I need to come out and, and get these. And obviously it grew since the hydrangeas were so big over the summer. So now's the time to get this stuff down. We get tons and tons of messages about the vines on the side of the chateau and the front of the chateau. Okay, obviously this is, this is English ivy, which needs to come down. But these vines, this is a, um, I believe it's a Boston ivy, which really isn't in the ivy family. It's, I think, a part of the grape family. This is not dangerous to buildings. It can be a bit of a nuisance if you don't keep up with it and they'll grow into your, you know, gutters and eaves and that sort of thing. But we usually have the cherry picker come out once a year and trim these. This is safe. We like it. We're going to keep it. It's not harmful at all. They just kind of produce these little suckers and they cling on to the to the building. They don't eat your mortar. Um, it's not dangerous. It's just, it's very beautiful and we love it. And I think we're going to add more on the opposite side, which we don't have any vines growing. And then probably the side where our side door is because that's kind of an ugly... <laughs> section. She is, um, she heard me out here, and I think she's got a lot of anxiety. She doesn't like to be away from me, so, um, that's Fluffy. Hi, Fluffy Plum!
This took me longer than I had remembered. It's been a weird day. It's been raining on and off, so it's, it's, it's been a difficult day to work. And you get damp and wet. So I'm gonna go check on the status of the cottage. Wow, it's so clean we could move in now. Yeah. Right? I need to break those up a little more. And then I might just put them down on the pile, I don't know. Oh, okay. And then we'll be on to taking this floor up, huh? Yeah, I just noticed this. Yeah. Oh, it's for the drain from no, the shower. No, it, it went out the wall. Oh, oh. It's like a hole. It's a hole. It's like covered up with, it looks like tin or something. Oh, yeah. Oh. You think that was the old poop hole or something? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It could have been anything. Yeah, it's coming along. Get the beams out. Right. But we need to buy beams before we remove the beams. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we need to go beam shopping. Yeah. <laughs> the wood man. We got to go see a man about some wood. That's right. Pardon the interruption, but if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. It helps our small channel grow and you'll see our renovations, cute animals, garden porn, and sometimes we even leave the chateau and go somewhere. Now back to the video. Someone had a birthday and I got him a tractor and a getaway to Paris. <laughs> Please make sure you collect all your belongings. Por favor, no olvide recoger todo su equipaje. Our first stop was to visit a friend and have lunch with him. We explored the neighborhood, which is off the beaten path and quite lovely and eclectic. There we go for Lincoln's birthday. Champagne wishes and caviar dreams. A very wise man, man once said that. <laughs> Robin Leach. Robin Leach. <laughs> Of course it's raining. Our visit to Paris this time around revolved around food. Since we don't eat out much while at home, it was nice to be able to just go and sit and have long meals and not worry about anything. Is this what going on vacation feels like? I think we need to do more of this.
Isn't there a funicular? Okay, so we're gonna have to climb the steps. If there is one, it's not here. No. Okay. Let's go up the steps. Which doesn't seem too bad, right? I need my exercise anyway. So Sacra Corps is over there. Funicular. There's the funicular. I knew I wasn't crazy. What kind of beer is that? Have you had this before? No, I don't think so. This is a French beer. Yeah. Mademoiselle. I'm not an obnoxious person filming my food. <laughs> Thanks. After an amazing lunch, we headed around the corner to E. Delaron, a famous shop that carries professional cooking equipment and has been around since 1820. I can't remember the last time I was here, but it's always fun to stop in. I don't know, but I came here years ago and I bought one of these pans. And I left it all the way home on the airplane. And it made its way back to France. <laughs> Do I need one? Probably not, but they're so cool. Sifter.
<laughs> side by side coffin. Do you want to, here, why don't you take the bags and I'll. Okay. Okay, bye. Uh, Good luck. <laughs> Bonne chance. Going to zero. Here's the chance. I'm out here looking for a downed tree. We heard a big crack and something coming down. And oftentimes, because we have so many trees, it's like looking for a needle in a haystack. <laughs> you just don't know where to look. Holy moly. Look, it took its entire root ball up. It's all the wind and the rain. So I think this is a job for uh, the farmers. So I'm going to call them. This is a tree I've been worried about for quite some time. And I was always holding my breath as we drove up the back driveway. Wow. So we got home, I guess around midnight last night, and... Yeah, this welcomed us. <laughs> yeah, and I, do you know where it's from? It's from that, I guess that tree there. Or that one, or that one, or that one. We have so many trees. Well, I mean, it's interesting because it's got dead leaves on it. I guess this branch has been dead for a while. We have this one, which is not a big deal at all, but- Oh, it's nothing. This is nothing. <laughs> We've had a lot of rain in the past couple of days and wind. Our big plan today was to go work in the cottage and mm -hmm. get more of that done. But this morning I heard a big crash, crack, which I knew was a tree. Yeah, to me it sounded like someone knocking on the door. Well, you were on the other side of the house. Rapping on the door hard. So. <laughs> you were on the other side of the house. I yeah. was in our bedroom and closest to where disaster struck. So why don't we get this out of the way and then we can head over to the back driveway. Because currently we're blocked. We have no <laughs> access yeah. in or out. So Both we need driveways. to get this moved. Why don't you take the end? I'll take here. Okay. Okay. Hey, dogs. They just had a fresh uh, hay delivery, so they are happy to be eating. At least it didn't take out any other trees yeah. aside from <laughs> what was sort of growing out of the root ball. Yeah, I think this was it. Oh yeah. I heard this 
all the way in our bedroom. So it was pretty crackly. Yeah, it fell off too. Oh man, it's cold out here. Yeah, you can see inside. Yeah, I see that. That's a big tree. Wow. Whoa. That's another big tree. Yikes. So. Yeah, that's, that's big. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.